Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so, um, you know, I don't know if you knew this. Probably didn't because you come across this video, but ASUS on their site actually allows you to compare all of their motherboards, okay? So you've got the most awesome ROG Maximus Z690 Extreme Glacial. Here's your EATX form factors, right? So these are a little bit bigger than your Z690s. You can tell these are going to be better for overclocking, though. Um, DDR5. This is uh, not the fastest RAM I've seen, but uh, it's up there. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt 4 support, HDMI 2.1, two PCIe 5.0 by 16s, okay? So, that's pretty awesome. All these M.2s, so it's going to have Gen 5 M.2s, Gen 4s. If you have the money, they can make your dreams come true. Fast Ethernet on this. So that is the high end. Let's look at something a little more affordable. So yeah, that's all their 690s. They do have ITX. They have micro ATX, it looks like. No, it doesn't say it. it. Looks like a smaller one. 6B660s in here. Pro Art Z690s. Tough Gaming Z690s, if you like those. I'm not really a big fan of Tough Gaming's. Prime, which is their really just cheap shit. It's on the same level as ASRock, if you ask me. Um, and then, what is the garbage of them all? That's going to probably be this H610, right? These are the just shittiest boards. It's like, all you're getting is a fast CPU, folks. Slower RAM. You know, not much greater than H510, right? Doesn't support faster RAM. So not only is it DD4, but it's limited, right, by the CPU. So, that's interesting, folks. But you see all the features it just does not have, right? Kind of interesting. But the H610s are the only ones that are limited by the uh, CPU for their RAM speed. Everybody else is rocking and rolling, folks. But yeah, check this out. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. You will get to see all that you need to see about the ASUS motherboards, okay? Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe, thank you.